I'm Ian Douglas Hamilton. I'm the founder of Save the Elephants, and that is exactly what we try to do in life, to save elephants wherever they live. As a small child, I dreamed of living in Africa, being able to fly an aeroplane, and saving animals. I honestly haven't changed very much. And uh, when I grew up, I became a zoologist, and my very first job in the wild was to work with elephants. And I never looked back. There were many people who inspired me, um, but most of all, it was the elephants that inspired me. As soon as I was working with them, I wanted to imitate those famous people who already knew their animals individually. And they were Jane Goodall and somebody called John Goddard, who lived in the Serengeti, and he knew all the rhinos by sight. We're talking about the mid-60s. Nobody had lived with wildlife in Africa, in the wilds, and looked at them as individuals. I was incredibly lucky to have that chance to be the first to do that with elephants. We're in the middle of a crisis right now, which is caused by a renewed demand for ivory. We're trying to stop the killing, stop the trafficking, and stop the demand for ivory. I don't think it's impossible to stop, because the West used to be a real problem. And after the West, Japan was a real problem. Now, both in the West and in Japan, there is no demand for ivory, or very little. And that's because people became aware of what they were doing to the elephants. My dream is to secure a future for elephants in perpetuity. And I think it's a challenge because we haven't calmed down as a species. Our numbers are still increasing. And even if they stop, our demand on the environment is increasing. We want more of everything. We want more development, more roads. We want to carve up more forests. So there's a big threat and a big challenge. My dream would be to see human beings come into balance with their global environment to stop destroying the world. I think the most important thing we need now, if elephants are going to survive, is a coalition of concerned individuals, NGOs, media people, film stars, press, businesses, politicians, and governments themselves. We need to join in united international action to stop the killing of elephants, to stop the illegal trading of ivory, and to stop people wanting to buy ivory. If we can do those three things, there will be a wonderful future stretching out ahead for elephants and for people.